Investor intelligence provides general information only. You should consider seeking independent advice to see how this information relates to your unique circumstances. Please refer to the terms and conditions available at investorintelligence.com.au for more. Welcome to this week's episode of Investor Intelligence, brought to you by the team at The Property Mentors. It's your weekly podcast for all things investment, and it's hosted by me, Phoebe Sikowski-Wallace. For today's episode, I have a special guest joining me. It's his second time back now, and that is Aaron Best, who is the Members Experience Director for The Property Mentors. Welcome back, Aaron. Thank you for having me. Anytime, of course. So today we're going to be talking about what we're seeing out in the market from people who are engaging with the content that we put on the Property Mentors website um, and, of course, the podcast too. In addition to that, we're also going to be looking at some of the things that are worrying investors out there. So, Aaron, I've invited you here today as not only the Members Experience Director for TPM, but also as someone who's responsible for a lot of the content that we put out there uh, and who helps me as well as far as content for the podcast to make sure that we're getting the most educational information out there. So, Aaron, what are the property mentors seeing investors searching on the internet as and services such as Google? Um, so, over the past year or so, interest in property investment has actually remained um, pretty consistent, um, which is despite things such as uh, COVID and the elections and interest rates all happening in the past 12 months, um, that interest in, in property investment on on services like Google has, has stayed pretty consistent. Mm. Um, those sorts of things such as COVID, the elections, they all do have some sort of observable effect. We are seeing that on the week of the election that less people were were looking at property investment. In the lead up to the election, we saw more people interested in property investment because mm. of what each party was bringing to the table from right. a housing affordability uh, circumstance. But they're not the only things that can impact um, trends on, on Google. Um, in actual fact, the lowest point for interest in property investment is actually the week leading up to December 25th. Um, mm. So it appears that when people are very distracted by Christmas. They are not looking at buying investment properties. Oh, funny that. <laughs> when it does come to property investment as a topic, um, what we are seeing um, is one of the most popular topics being tax-related queries. Mm. People are searching for investment property tax and capital gains tax, but they're also searching for things such as land tax and stamp duty, which are two things that can actually vary quite a lot depending on the state that you're in um, and the situation that you're in. First home buyers um, quite often get discounted stamp duties and things like that. So mm-hmm. um, there, there are quite a lot of different things to, to sort of see on those particular topics. But tax as, a, as a, a holistic topic is something that we see quite consistently. Um, most most investors would be aware that tax is generally a very important part of owning um, and in the case of capital gains tax, selling your investment property. Sure. Getting your tax right really determines how successful your portfolio is. Mm. If you don't depreciate or claim the right things, your property may not perform as well as it could. And as I'm sure everyone is aware, if you don't do your taxes right, you could probably get yourself in a lot of trouble. Yep. <laughs> Um, Over the past few months, as we have seen um, investors search for a lot of different things around interest rates in the elections, um, the interest in those sorts of tax related subjects has dropped off a little bit. But as we do come to this time of the year, as we do come to the end of financial year, um, that interest in tax has started to ramp up again. And we're seeing increased searches related to tax related investment property queries. Mm. Um, obviously this is sort of to coincide with people getting ready to discuss their tax position and what they want to do with their investment properties with their accountant come next month. Mm. So you said the topic of investment property tax is quite a popular search term all year round, um, but has gotten increasingly popular in the last couple of weeks. Are there any other topics that are gaining popularity when it comes to what investors are looking for in recent times? 
Um, yes, actually. So in the past year, we've we've seen a rise in people searching for topics like property investment loans, the best suburbs to invest in, and mm. um, landlord insurance. And as data nerds as this, as this sounds coming from me, um, as someone who works for the Property Mentors, um, we're actually seeing a lot of people who are searching for the terms property investment advice mm. and property investment advisor, mm. um, which have actually seen an 80% increase in searches um, over 21 and 2022. That's really interesting. So what do you think that means for investors at the moment? Uh, for me, it, it reflects that investors are increasingly becoming more savvy about researching mm. the number of facets that come along with property investment making sure that they make the right decisions before they take any actions that may or may not be in their best interest. Mm. As I reckon most people will agree, success is a lot harder to achieve on your own. And we're seeing that investors are starting to realise that buying investment properties is the same. Like having a, an advisor, having someone there to support you and, and guide you is, is really important. I know in my experience with the property mentors, and, and we've had these conversations in the office, mm. there, there is so much to know about this industry. Like every day you and I learn something new from people like Luke with his literal decades of experience yeah. as a professional <laughs> investor. Um, and even from people like Chelsea, um, when we get the chance to speak to her, um, the, just the topic of mortgage broking, there's just so much about loans that even you and I are still learning every day. Yes. Um, we've previously seen a lot of people come to us thinking that investment is really easy. You buy a property, you rent it, you make money. But the conversations that our mentors are having at the moment with new members and these Google statistics really showing that people are starting to realise that they may need someone in their corner to help make the best decisions with them. Mm, I think that's important with them and not necessarily for them. And it's definitely not as black and white as people would like it to be, even as much as we would like it to be. But so what are the property mentors doing now to support investors who are looking for these sorts of terms? Well, I'm glad you asked. As the world has changed quite uh, dramatically over the last few years, we have put a really big emphasis on ensuring that we have too. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been putting out plenty of really good resources, not only for our members, but also for people who are out there Googling property investment. We've relaunched our um, member learning centre. We challenge ourselves as a team to ensure that we have a new blog coming out every week. Mm -hmm. We also make sure that we have a new podcast coming out every sure week. Um, we share tips from our mentors on our social media and our LinkedIn. We've had Luke put out his Property Fit book. Um, and this year in particular, we did launch this podcast, um, which is in no small part thanks to you. Mm -hmm. oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> <I'll do my laughs> best. When it comes to creating useful content, we really try to push our thought leadership in the property investment space. We have the experts with the knowledge and we really want to make sure that we're bringing it to the next generation of investors. Hmm. As you mentioned, we want to work with people. We don't just want to buy investment properties or invest people's money in strategies they don't understand. Mm. We really want to make them experts in their own right. We are really trying to maintain the focus of our men mentorship on getting each investor ready to make an educated decision about their the direction of their portfolio with the support and guidance of their member. Mm. We don't want to be buyer's advocates or anything like that. Mm. We want to really educate people on how their portfolio is performing and how they're going to build it in the future. Yeah. One of the things that I'm particularly excited about is actually a free public event that you and I will be co-hosting in a mm -hmm. couple of weeks. Sure are. Um, so you and I will be hosting an online panel discussion of what tax time means from the perspective of Luke as mm -hmm. our expert investor, yeah. Mario as our accountant, and Chelsea as our mortgage broker. Um, and we even get to present them direct questions directly from the audience. So I, I think that's going to be a really fascinating opportunity for us. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing what the panel has to say and, and obviously co-hosting that webinar with you. So that's happening on the 22nd of June. And if anyone would like to attend, you can find a link to that to sign up in our show notes, um, along with a link to the TPM website, our blog and all of our socials. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I'll be back in your ears again next week. And Aaron, of course, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Where should you look for for investment properties? The web? The newspaper? What if we told you some of the best investments never even made it to the public? 
The property mentors have exclusive access to a number of excellent off-market opportunities right around Australia. Don't miss out on the right property for your portfolio. Visit thepropertymentors.com.au today.